A former Newsmax reporter was subjected to immediate mockery online when he posted a celebratory photo of himself proposing to his girlfriend. Now that's a normal thing to do. You propose, you post on social media about it. Well, what led to the mockery? Well, here's the post. So he posted, Pride Month is so defeated. I love you, Cheris Edwards. I don't know how you pronounce that, Cherise maybe. And it's a photo of him kneeling in his khakis, of course, and then a photo of the ring. And she says, make June great again. So they truly are made for each other, I guess. This was the engagement. This is a once in a lifetime thing. Some people dream of this their whole lives. And he posted it with pride month is so defeated. I don't know if the gay community will ever recover, Adrian. What do you think? Yeah, what, what defeated? Like, is it because he's taking himself off the market, so to speak? So now the gays can't get him. Like, <laughs> what? I don't understand how people want to spend their time trying to attack others, but also in a way that's not really an attack. It just they just get more ridiculous by the moment. The video will continue in just a moment, but first, I have a message for you. TYT needs your help. Membership is vital to survival, so please go to tyt.com/team and become a member today. I would like to congratulate both of them for taking the other off the market. Yeah. So other people wouldn't accidentally briefly have to interact with them. Because like when I saw this, I didn't realize at first that she'd responded. And I thought, well, based on the facts that he was a Newsmax reporter, that he posted this in his general appearance, we know what sort of person this is. So he has to make something that should just be about his love for this woman or whatever. All of a sudden, he's thinking more about the gay community than about his own heterosexual relationship. But okay, there's lots of broken men in America, that's not surprising. But she liked it, make mm -hmm. June great again. She also wants her engagement to not be about him and to not be about her, but to be about sticking it to gay people. When it doesn't even do that, they can get married. And I know that that bothers you, Cherise. And Addison, I know that it deeply bothers you that these other people that love each other can get married in the same way that you just did. But they still can. That doesn't go away because you're getting married or whatever. Um, and look, I don't, I don't want to wish ill on anyone, and so I will not do it explicitly. But I will say that the fact that this is what he was thinking about at the time that you guys got engaged means that your marriage may not be on 100% solid ground. I hope that it is for your sake. I'm a married man, I love my wife, I want everyone to be happy in the way that I am. But I'm just saying, it's kind of a red flag, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, Any well, other thing thoughts? Is, you won't wish ill, but I will. I'm thinking the over under on how long they married is probably like two years, if not uh, fewer. It's just it, these people, I, I don't understand their the fact that this is what is sitting at the top of their mind, like you said. It's supposed to be one of the most special days of your life if you found your partner and now you've locked them into the forever game. And yet you are thinking about members of the queer community. It just, there's something wrong here. Something's yeah, off. There's something wrong, possibly a few things wrong. Yeah. Um, I, I remember when I uh, proposed to my wife, uh, we were on a trip to Hawaii. It was a great trip. We were just thinking about what our marriage would be like. like I wasn't like, yeah, Second Amendment people suck it. That would be so deeply weird. Like, I don't even care what the issue is that you choose to make it about. It has nothing to do with it. I'm gonna skip other people were mocking him. Some some of them are good, but whatever. We've already mocked him. That's fine. So he gets mocked, and here's how he responds. He's totally not crying, by the way. Uh, just when we thought our engagement weekend couldn't get any better, we triggered an entire army of libs in the process. We can't think of a better way to cap off Pride Month. You can't, you you can't think of any better way than people made fun of you for being super weird, and you're just gonna be weird again. What do you think triggered means? We're not mad. We're sad for you. We feel secondhand embarrassment for you. They use terms like Trump derangement syndrome. No, 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 no. People being mad at, at a proto dictator who does who's done terrible damage to a bunch of communities. That's not weird. That's not derangement. This is derangement. You're a weirdo. Like there's something deeply broken with the way you see the world and the way and the way you see your relationship. I don't have that problem. Adrian doesn't have that problem. You're the only one that has that problem. We're not triggered. We just feel really bad for you.
Exactly. So the weirdo game, it's it's surreal. Yeah. And the projection of it is even better. Yeah, it's so weird. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Some perhaps someday we'll have an update on it. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?